I bring you breaking news from Winter Park, Florida. As you heard here first, local parents have raised concerns that their teens have become increasingly disengaged from the world around them. At first, psychologists advise parents not to be alarmed by the changes in behavior because they are typical for the age. However, over the last few weeks, teens seem to have developed a hive mind, where increasingly larger groups of teens appear to be acting as one, losing almost all sense of their individuality. These teens are all now sporting the same tattoo on their wrists. Once the tattoos appeared, parents and professionals could no longer explain the teens' strange behavior that's typical for their age. A group of doctors have examined the affected teens and determined that they are infected with a new disease that doctors are calling the Zolic virus. There is no known cure for the Zolic virus. I repeat, there is no known cure. Scientists from the Center of Disease Control have confirmed the diagnosis and are arriving in Central Florida this week to support local containment efforts. At this time, no one knows how the situation will evolve. Scientists confirm that infected teens seem focused on spreading the disease to other teens, but no one knows what their end game is. Once all teens are affected with this virus, what will happen next? How will their focus be? What will an army of Zolic teens want? With no reassuring answers to these questions, local physicians and area law enforcement officers are scrambling to contain this viral pandemic. Mayor Stein has declared a state of emergency and put in place a dusk to dawn curfew. It is crucial that all teens remain indoors during these hours because this is the time where the Zolic teens hunt for new victims. We here at PDQ News recognize how difficult it is to keep a teen at home. Therefore, we are providing these tips to keep our viewers safe. One, make sure that your teenager is wearing wrist protection because affected teens have been seen with bite marks on their wrists near the site of their new tattoos. Scientists believe that the virus is spreading from teen to teen by saliva blood contact. Wrist ran, wristbands will be the last defense against being bitten. Number two, if out at dusk and unable to reach home safely, teens should hurry to the nearest shelter and stay there until dawn. Shelters have been set up at places where teens are Libraries, bookstores, for instance, just list the places you would not want to go, like shops with your parents, teens, things they find boring, you get the drift. Most importantly, avoid at all costs those places teens are likely to congregate. Park Avenue, Starbucks, movie theaters, and ballparks. Our community is under attack, not from outside invaders, but from our very own children. 